Hey guys! Before we get going into 4.4, I just want to talk about false shortcuts. Okay, false shortcuts. Well, I'm going to get right to the point. Angle, 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 otherwise known as AAA, is not coming to save you. AAA will not come to save you. That is not a way you can prove triangles congruent. If you try AAA, it will be wrong. There is no AAA coming to save you. And angle side side, allow me to be crass for a moment, but there are no asses in geometry. Angle side side or side side angle will not also prove your triangles congruent. So AAA and ASS do not work to prove triangles are congruent. Your choices are angle side angle, side angle side, hypotenuse lay, which we will get to soon, angle angle side, and side side side. No triple A and no asses in geometry. Okay, now let's start talking about 4.4. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. <laughs> Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So, once you've proved triangles are congruent by side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle, and angle, angle, side, you can use corresponding parts of triangles are congruent or CPC, TC, to show that their different parts are congruent. So first you need to prove these triangles are congruent, and then you would use CPC, TC. So let's look at an example of your favorite proofs. Woo! Okay, we have angle KBC is congruent to angle ACB, and angle K is congruent to angle A. We want to prove that side KB is congruent to side AC. All right, let's see if we can do this. So, again, KBC is congruent to angle ACB. All right, and then I'm going to say that BC is congruent to BC. Well, the same thing, like looking in the mirror, you see your reflection, but it is reflexive. Okay, angle K is congruent to angle A. Hmm, well I marked it that way, but oh, that's because it was in the given. So here's a given halfway down again. Okay, and now I'm going to say triangle KBC is congruent to triangle ACB. I can say that they are congruent because of angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. Here's an angle, another angle, and now we can mark their side as congruent as well. Angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. All right, we've proved the triangles are congruent. Now I want to say that KB is congruent to AC. Well, because the triangles are congruent, you would say corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. CPC, TC. That is CPC, TC. Okay, now let's talk about name the theorem or postulate that shows the triangles are congruent and why the pieces are congruent. Okay, another example for you. Let's look here. I said side angle side and CPC TC, but why? All right, well this side is congruent. These angles are congruent and they share this side. So that would be congruent. So side, angle, side, side, angle, side. And then EA is congruent to MA. EA right here is congruent to MA. Well, because the triangles are congruent, their various parts are congruent. So 
corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So let's look here. <clears throat> they have a side, another side, and oh look, they share this side. So, what would I say? <clears throat> I would say that triangle J U N is congruent to triangle. This was at the end of the two line, right? And it goes up towards the one line. So J E N and down the one line because of side, side, side. And let's just say that angle U is congruent to angle B. And I would say that because C, P, C, T, C. Once I've proved, oh sorry, I do have a hard time seeing that. Ah, once I've proved that the triangles are congruent, I can go ahead and say their various parts, angles included, are congruent. Okay, that's it for 4.4. .4.